Truth and Fable by Jean Pierre Claris de Florian, seventeen fifty five to seventeen ninety four. Read for LibriVox.org. At length among mankind to dwell, Truth came all naked from her well. By living there so long alone, she had a little posse grown, and old and young all fled surprised the moment she was recognized poor truth remained confounded quite by such an unsuspected sight just then she chanced to see fable in all her finery tricked out in plumes and diamonds too the most of these were false tis true but yet were dazzling to the view who in familiar courtesy exclaimed oh here you are i see and quite alone too i observe why are you here my sister dear what end do you propose to serve pray tell me if you please says truth i find i'm here to freeze for all i meet upon the road deny me shelter or abode i'm shunned as if in fear or hate but that alas must be the fate of dames like me when out of date not so says fable in reply for you are younger still than i and yet if i may be believed i'm everywhere still well received but let me ask why tis that you expose your nakedness to view that's not discreet now list to me since well our interests do agree let my broad mantle drape your form twill serve to shelter both from harm among the wise for your sake all will my foolish sayings take and with the fools because of me you always well received will be thus fable side by side with truth like as two sisters hand in hand will teach and please both age and youth and welcomed be in every land end of poem this recording is in the public domain